All right, welcome to another episode of Dave Tripp and Couch Therapy, and where I know I just said that I reserve this time to do cultural discussions, but something rare, something happened to me that has never happened in all the time that I've been in Japan, and that is that I received mail, which is really, really cool. It just in time for the, uh, the holiday season. One from my family and then one from my very good friend Russ. You may remember him from uh, some videos we did back in the summer where we went to Up Garage. He's really into that kind of thing. And so I have no idea what's inside these boxes. And I thought we would go through this wonderful experience of opening together. But first, special guests on the show today. Please say hi. All the way from uh, Canada, Russell and Brandon. How you doing, guys? Not too bad. How are you guys doing? <laughs> An opportunity to see Dave handle his packages with <laughs> Alright, cool. So you heard it. We're going to handle my packages. Alright, so first one, what do we do? Do we do the one from the, the family or do we do it from you guys? Which one? Let's start with the family. Family? Okay. Here we go. First one opens up. It is from the family. We're digging in. Try and be gentle. We got, we got country bears on this package here. I'm going to show you guys this. These damn country bears. Is there an address? Yes, there is. Don't look at the address. Look at this box. Look at these Christmas bears. That serious love right there. And we've even got the old timey. Look at that. Look at that twine. You're loved when your presents come wrapped in twine. Again, like I said, I don't have any idea what's in here. So let's check it out. Okay. The lid is coming off. Are you guys excited? Quivering. Quivering with excitement. Oh, sweet. Okay, I did mention to my mom that I wanted to make things more festive around the place. And so she took the hint and here we are. We got the, uh, we got the sweet Santa hat. That is an absolute necessity for Christmas. Oh man, some of this stuff. Oh, we're going down memory lane. Like, uh, there's no hard drugs, is there? No, no hard drugs, we're clean. <laughs> Um, this, this is something that uh, we've had hung on our tree for ages and she's packed in this a little bit of tinsel so I'll be able to decorate my house that much better. Can we, can we focus on this please? Yes. Very cool. Look at that boys. Tinsel. Who doesn't love tinsel? Yeah. Okay. That's very, very cool. I get the feeling maybe this is going to be a sort of like decorations box. Next. Aw, oh, cute little bunny. Points for extra cuteness there. Look at that bunny. That's gonna go around the house very nice. Nothing extravagant. Oh, hilarious. She's just sent me like red paper cups for like drinking. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, cool, cool. Okay, so uh, I'm now prepared. This is actually funny. This is such a good gift because I am having people over and I was like, so I guess I'm gonna have to buy a whole bunch of new stuff because I've only got like the couple of wine glasses or whatever. Uh, so this was a brilliant gift. Thanks, Mama. Good idea. All right. Cups. Giving me, giving me things that I didn't even think that I would know I would need. Those are the best gifts. Okay. Stocking. Yeah, cool stocking. Nothing says holidays. Like a classic red stocking for Christmas. Very, very cool. All right. Coming up next. Yay. Okay. This is so cool. It's lights. You think that this is the simplest thing in the world, but... It's not, because like for a small string of these, maybe you guys can tell me down in the comments below, like they're really expensive. So if you can find an extra like string of them lying around and somebody can send you this, then, then you're doing really, really good. Uh, so thank you again, perfect gift. This is gonna light up that room with that kind of festive feeling that I was craving so badly. Very, very cool. Actually, I wanna know, here's a question in the uh, question up guys, I'll put it up there in the corner. Do you prefer the like classic like rainbow colors or do you go with like the monochromatic lights? Monochromatic or multicolored? What's your preference? What do you prefer? Okay, we're going into here. Now this, I can't say for sure, but uh, I'm very, very excited. Please be, please be. Okay, oh, I'm weak, I'm weak. Oh my God. It's ginger snap cookies. <laughs> oh man, I can smell them. Oh my God. Look at those. Oh, and she does them just right. They're baked to perfection. The key with a good ginger snap cookie is that they be slightly chewy. One quick taste test. 
not very chewy. But they're still delicious, damn it. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you, Mama. Oh, but the ginger is just right in those, and that's what counts. Not so much the chewiness, but you can taste the love. Okay, going a little bit deeper. Okay, more of this like, it's so nostalgic. Like Christmas was such a big deal in my house and for the right reasons. It was just like we'd have 30 people over, be a huge party. We kept all the same decorations from year to year. And I don't know, with that, you kind of stored up all these memories in these little things. So that's, that's really, really cool. I love all these little decorations. They're gonna make the house really, really kind of give it that feeling that I crave. My God, how many snowmen? In here, I can start a snowman army here. Check these out. Awesome. Yeah! Okay. So, moving through. Moving through. Oh, snap. Two stockings, two set of lights, and here's my monochromatic. So, I actually have both options. Again, though, which do you prefer? Or do you want a variety? Maybe I should add that as a third option. Another stocking. Great. I need these. I want to pack a stocking for people. Uh, we got one more, we got one more. Please be, please be, please be. So many, oh, I know what's going on. What I really, really love is rum balls, like super boozy rum balls, and this is all uh, gingerbread cookies. I think my aunt is doing me a solid this year and she was going to send me the, uh, the rum balls. So those will be coming later on. All right, this is, this is awesome. So that's, that's basically it for the first box for my family. Thank you so much, family. This is the most heartwarming, wonderful thing in the world. Now we're moving on to the big boy. Make sure the address is out of the way. This is from the man on the screen over there. This is from Russ. So uh, he took great care. He's a wonderful friend and we are going to dig in. And Russ will now get to enjoy my reaction to this, uh, this opening because we're doing it here together. So the don't first... Cut too deep. What's that? Don't cut too deep. Okay, don't cut too deep. Nails hammered in, once removed, still leave holes. I saw that on Facebook one time. Okay. So deep. Oh so God. deep. Here we go. Okay. Oh my God, Russell, the tension. Wait for it, wait for it. Holy I can't tell what it is. <laughs> oh, sweet. You know what's better than one Christmas tooth? Two of them. <laughs> oh snap. What is this, Russell? What have you done? Is this some kind of book? Did you get, I think he got me a book. <laughs> Damn it, why'd you have to pack them so well, Russell, you ass? What's happening? What does anything mean anymore? Oh, badass, holy Check that out. Mmm, monetary love. Mmm, nice. <laughs> oh man, that's cool. Thank you so much, Russell. All right, there's other things in here. Oh, nice. Okay, this is very good. This is super practical. This is a lens cleaning kit for your camera. So that's going to come in super handy for me. Uh, that's really, really good. Practical, yes. Know me better than I know myself. I should have grabbed that. What is this? Secure shoulder strap for your camera, so it goes over your shoulder and under your arm, and it has a some part that you screw like to, like your tripod. Oh, sweet! You this is this is like your this is like your gun holster for your camera, basically. Yeah. You could like whoosh, bring it up. Okay, sweet. Okay, what else is in here? Oh, are these like cleaning for the screen? Oh, nice high quality uh, screen cleaners. That's really good. You can never have oh and the actual lens cleaner itself. Get that up there, block the face, see if I can get the focus, yeah. So that, that'll be really good, that's, that's awesome. So just basically like a care pack for your, for your camera equipment, that's what that is right there. Oh, and one of these things, uh, Dustin from Solo Travel Blog. Yeah, he had one of these. So it's basically like you can keep your, your hand off of the lens and you just, you just base the chicken gently with this uh, and your camera. But yeah, you can blow lint and stuff off of the, the front of it. So that's that's awesome. Holy It's another stocking. <laughs> okay, let's check this out. Uh, means by which to get fat. <laughs> hedgehog. Oh man, I love hedgehogs. They're um 
What? Uh, will it, yeah, whoop, like that. What type of chocolate is it? Hazel? Hazel chocolate? Hazelnut chocolate, yeah. Uh, chocolate brown. Okay, awesome. What is this? Oh my God. Okay, so BC, uh, where I'm from, is known for its ridiculously good wines. Oh, um, here we got a, we have a 2012, focus on this, not me. We have a 2012 here, very, very nice, 2012 Maximus Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot. Uh, is this, is it a Meritage? Oh no. Um, Okanagan Bordeaux. Valley. Hmm? For Bordeaux. Bordeaux. We got a Bordeaux here. We got a Bordeaux, people. Oh yeah. It is a Meritage. It is a Meritage because it's from BC. Okay. Not from the Bordeaux or even a press. Uh, okay, all right, good. Yes, we are technically on the ball. Oh my god. I love Bordeaux. Oh. Oh man. Oh snap. What? What? Another Okanagan Valley La Stella 2014 Fortissimo. That means giant whale vagina, I believe. <laughs> Let's see if I can get that up. Oh, to control myself with this, this is going to be very, very difficult. Yeah, forget this video. I'm just gonna pop a couple bottles tonight. No, I, uh, I won't. I'll wait. I'll be patient. We got last one. Is this another VQA? Yes, it is. Uh, 2012 Beleza, British Columbia. I don't even know this particular type, but anyways, look at this gorgeous bottle again. Oh, I do love my wine. And to say it's something that you just don't get that much of in in Japan. I mean, you can if you really went searching for it, but the sort of like uh, practical, cheap, delicious bottle, although I have the sneaky suspicion these might not be the cheapest bottles in the world. But to find just like a nice, good bottle of wine in Japan is not something you do so often. There's the whole culture of sake here. Yeah, wine is one of the things that I miss most uh, from being home in Canada. So a little recap, that's three bottles of wine, pair of shoes, camera accessories at the Yang, these I'll be wearing this evening. Check out those cool kicks. They're so fresh. They're so fresh. That was an incredible experience. I feel I've, I've flown to the moon on happiness and love here. And thank you for coming along with me. Um, I really enjoyed doing this. I've never done a mail time unboxing. Uh, Christmas is definitely the most appropriate time. Maybe I'll do another house tour once I've decorated everything. And uh, I'll be back to my regular programming next week. We'll do a cultural discussion, but I couldn't pass up the opportunity when I got these cool gifts today. They've been trying to deliver them, but I kept on missing them. Uh, that was wonderful. I love you, Russell. You're a good man. Thank you so much. I love you, Mom. Thanks so much for uh, sending me those things. And uh, maybe it's a little preemptive, but in case I don't catch people checking this video, Merry Christmas to everybody. I hope you spend it with people you really, really care about. Um, why don't you drop a like and a subscribe, that's a great way to show love. And I will uh, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.